Hey everybody, I'm Wendy from The Broken Needle and today I'm going to show you how to make a Tilda doll. This will be a two-part series. The first video will show you how to make the body and the second video will show you how to do the hair and the dress. You can find the pattern in the Tilda Spring Ideas book. I'm going to make the sewing angel. Print the pattern out and trace or print it onto foundation paper. Some of the patterns have two pieces. You'll need to align them with the line and the letters A and B. Then you can tape it down with some tape. We're using Tilda doll fabric and we'll be sewing through two layers. Using flathead pins, pin your pattern to the two layers of fabric. Using polyester thread, adjust the stitch length to 1.5 millimeter and sew directly on the line. If you notice, the ES stands for extra seam allowance. We want to leave that part open. So when sewing, make sure to backstitch and leave the ES area open. Now you can remove all of the pins. Carefully tear away the paper. Now I'm going to carefully trim away the pattern piece. I can use this pattern for future dolls. Pin the pattern down onto the fabric and this time sew on the outside edge of the pattern. Now it's time to cut. You can use pinking shears and cut all of your pieces out. You can also use fabric scissors that are not pinked. However, you need to make sure to cut in a notch where the curves are. The turnout tool is the best thing you can have in your stash when turning out tubular projects such as this. Insert the plastic tube into your fabric tube. Use the wooden dowel to push the fabric down into the plastic tube. Out the other end and bingo! Continue using the wooden dowel to press out all of the fabric. Using a friction pin, make a mark at the knees. We're going to stuff the legs first using polyfill fiber fill. 
Make sure to use a small amount at a time. If you use a big amount, your polyfill can get stuck while you're stuffing. Take a little bit of the stuffing and again take the plastic tube and put it down inside of the leg. Leave some room for the stuffing. Put some fiber fill into the tube and use the wooden dowel to push the fiber fill down into the leg. Now we're going to sew on this line. You can do this by hand, but I'm going to use the zipper foot. By using the zipper foot, I can sew right up against the fiber. Now we have a leg with a bendable knee. Now we need to stuff the rest of the leg. Remember ES is extra seam allowance. Stuff the leg to just below the seam allowance. Later on we're going to turn this inside the leg. This part of the leg is wide enough so we don't need the turnout tool this time. The doll's all stuffed and now time to put on the arms and legs. Using flathead pins, attach the arms and get ready to sew using a whip stitch. Align the arms slightly behind the shoulders and make sure to align the seams on the shoulders with the seams on the arms. We're using polyester thread because of its strength. Taking a doll needle, we're going to make a quilter's knot. Wrap the end of the thread around about five times. Hold on to the thread and pull all the way to the bottom and you should have a knot. Starting just under the arm, whip stitch the arm in place. Now you can see that we've sewn the arms all the way around on the front and the back. Now we need to add the legs. We're going to sew the legs inside of the doll. Remember the extra seam allowance, we're going to turn our fabric inside the leg. Use the pattern to compare the length of both of your legs. You may need to remove some of the fiber fill, but we're also going to turn in the underside of the body the same as we did with the legs. Carefully pin the legs in place. Whip stitch the legs in place, sewing through all layers of fabric. Ta-da! Tilda doll body complete!